I was watching the live newscast on my on my phone and said that it was headed towards um, Fourth and Telephone, and I knew it was coming directly for the hospital. Okay. It was it was kind of scary. I guess you know you can you can feel the you can feel the walls start to shake and you know stuff all the insulation starts falling out of the ceiling. And, you know, and all I mean all we could do was just we just close our eyes and we just held hands and pray that we that we survived. Myself, my sister, my mother-in-law, my son, uh, we were down in the cafeteria and I thought it was just a normal tornado warning and I was figuring that we were going to come back. You know, like normal, didn't think a tornado was going to hit us. So uh, we were watching Channel 9 on the, on the TV, then the lights went out and that's when everything hit. It was, it was very silent, but you heard a lot of commotion as far as you hear the, the um, furniture and everything moving around and throwing and you hear the screams of people it was it was quite devastating and uh, after everything had stopped and passed uh, we just I just basically tried to find a way out so I was looking for a way out and I found the hole in the side of the wall and, and got people out and um, I ran back in to get her because didn't nobody know that she was on the second floor so um, um, I was trying to let people know that people were on the second floor. They didn't understand and they didn't believe me. And I was like, my wife is up there. And so um, a guy named Alan Coffey, he works over at the Harley Davidson shop. And uh, he came over and he said, is any, he asked me, was anybody upstairs? I said, yeah, him and I uh, found the stairwell to go upstairs. And that's where we found her and the other nurses. And um, they went and got the fire department and we, we got her down on a gurney and I found the way back out. And we got on the ambulance and uh, transferred her over to Norman. The reality kind of hit us after we watched the news and saw the, the kids in Plaza uh, had passed away. So it was, it's kind of a bittersweet day um, in a sense because we had a happy day, but seeing him born, but I feel bad seeing those parents who lost their kids. So it's always going to be bittersweet for me.